Hey YouTube family. So today I am at Nail God Studio. Say hey girl. Located hey, hey. here in Miami. Okay. I've followed your page for a while now. I always I've been seeing since you like went outside and you take pictures and stuff like that. Oh my god, since the beginning. Yeah, okay, since nice. the beginning. And I actually Zule did my last then. She said uh -huh. she just sent me some stuff. So I was like, Zule, you mind if I go? Oh, she actually sent me some stuff too. <laughs> yeah, so of course I'm in Miami. I had to hit her up and let her finesse my nails. And this is her beautiful shop right here. I miss you guys. Check her out at Nail Gods, okay, located in Miami. So today, yes. I'm gonna to do whatever. I stuck right, some press ons on because it was like, it was like okay, nubby. Cool. So, so you can do whatever you want, girl. I'm not picky. Okay, so how long you been at this shop? Um, I've owned my shop for what? Let me see. Oof, uh, since I was 22. 23, I opened it, I'm 29, so like what, six, seven years now? Sure. Yeah. It's a long time. It is a long time. I didn't, I didn't realize like how long I've had my shop until you really count how old you are. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. No kids? No kids. Grab you in here, girl. You're what, 91? Yep, 91. 90. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, I would like to have kids, but girl, dating is hard, yeah. especially in this industry. I feel like, you know, busy. yeah, the business, this is just, it's difficult, girl. I know too many girls. I'm scared to date anybody in the city because I know they've probably been with half my clients. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, we, we do all the bad business nails. Yeah, we do. I'd be hella scared. I'd be like, yeah, no. I ain't trying to do it. I want. I don't want to put myself in that position. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to open up another shop? Um, I do, but then I don't because, like, I feel like in a way I'm kind of like over dealing with the help of other people. I guess. I can say. It's hard finding with us. It is, it's hard finding people. And that's the thing, like, you know, like I find other people and I train them and then they just do their own thing, you know? So it's kind of like, eh, I'm kind of over helping people and then I get the short end of the stick. Oh, trust me, you know, I'm shopping Atlanta. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, you, have, like, you have more than one. Yeah, I have two out there. I have one um, in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Oh yeah, that I love Maryland. Yeah, I'm even up DC. Yeah, my ex is from there. Yes. Or So you had the shop since seven years ago. How many years total have you been doing there? I've been doing nails since like what? Let me think. Um since I was 20, so like nine years. Cause I was doing hair first, you know? I used to do hair, I was like a shampoo girl. And like, you know, doing hair and everything else, it was cool, but it wasn't really like giving me what I needed in the beauty industry, you know? Especially when it came to like, just feeding my creativity because I was a colorist. And like back then, like people weren't doing crazy, crazy colors like how they are now. So I was like, let me figure out about doing something a little bit different, you know? Like, what can I do that's gonna make me kind of like enjoy it? Cause I was bored as hell just washing hair. Mm -hmm. And then um, I ended up doing nails and it kind of worked out because I was really good at it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pay my way through school. No big deal, you know? And next thing you know, I ended up just doing it for real because I was making hella buku money working in the strip club. Yeah, because I was working in the strip club doing nails in the strip club. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because, yeah, think about it. Them girls want right, to get nails done. Nails Shit. Done. And it, was, it worked out for me because I already had the girls during the day. And the ones I couldn't get during the day, I was able to get to at night. So it worked. But, you know. I what, would you, um, what would you say is your specialty or your favorite thing about nails? 
Um, my favorite thing, honestly, is just like doing whatever the hell I want at the time. Yeah, honestly, exactly. like just without not having a limit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry, my nails are like getting in the way. It's hard to like not have a limit. You know what I mean? Um, because like with clients, Some don't, they don't want much. They don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, why are you yeah. here? I was like, why are you come here? Why don't you come to a regular shop? Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, I don't do manicures. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Like, I would love to, you, you know. Nails, but I do nails. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, girl. We got it. It's, it's an art. Your shit not sticking. I just wanted to get it in there. Mm. Lega did me some flowers last time. Was it encapsulated? No, some 3D flowers. She did a good bird thing. And then I did a, cause you know, I use a 520 brush. So oh, they yeah. challenged me to use a freaking eight, a 10. So I did some- Damn, brush. an eight? A 10, oh my God, Shit. it's miserable. Okay, that's hella small. So you know, my, 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 my stuff is like cheap. Like I move really fast. Yeah. But I could not, I was mean, still fast, but the double brush is too little. And then like, I like to get big chunks and do some like one ball method. Yeah. It was killing me from a 20 to a 10. <laughs> it was so tiny. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know how people use that type of brush. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's too, too, too small. When I started, I used a 20. But then I just worked my way down, you know? You worked your way down? <laughs> yeah, like now I'm like a 14. Mm -hmm. 14, 16, depending on, you know? I think I started at 16. I think most nail salons started at 16. Yeah. In the Asian shop, you know? Yeah, like 16 was good for like the full sets, but then like for the refills, I dropped to a 14. Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like it depends like when it comes to nails, like what I'm doing. Cause I don't know. I can't really work with certain pieces, like even brushes, like I got like the little short stem ones. Like mm -hmm. I had tried to oh, buy some. One, yeah. yeah, like these, like oh, I tried yeah. and I was like, yeah, those don't work for me. They cute though, don't get me wrong, yeah. but you know, certain yeah, nails. Everybody um, needs to, you know, their own thing too. Yeah. They got their own method. I always say there's room to learn. Yeah, well, I'm over learning with this shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to do nothing like where it's boring and old people type shit either. You know what I mean? Only dance, not. Right? Like, yeah, only fans. Exciting. Only fans. Yeah, like, you know, like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I think, like, for me, I'm just kind of like. Do you sell your own products? Yeah, I do. But even then, like, trying to do that, like, I guess I just. Trying to find the passion for it again when it comes to products. It will. It always does. Mm -hmm. I just think that. Like, going through stuff in this COVID, you know? That's women yeah, that shit. Them. I'm like, yeah. It's probably just this week. I'll be okay next week. Uh -huh. You know how it is. I'll be all right next week. I'm waiting for COVID. You know, because I just moved to Cali, so. How yeah. is it over there? Um, you know, they're going through COVID right now. It's expensive. I can only imagine, honestly. Prime time. My girl is out there too. But that's the thing though, when it comes to Cali, like the traffic, is it that, is it bad? She well, told me exactly. to. I mean, I don't go anywhere during traffic hours, so. And then, you know, since COVID, everything is really shutting down again, so. Yeah. Everything's traffic during this time. Like that. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to move out there so bad. But I just didn't know. I mean, I don't know anybody out here like that either. Were you originally from? Originally, I'm from Boston. Oh, okay. And then, like, you know, I'm ra I was raised in Central Florida. And, you know, being out there in the country, it wasn't like anything. You know what I mean? Like, it's hella country. Like, country bumpkin type style. Everybody with the leaf jackets and stuff like that. And... You know, I have, it's just, you know, only got deers and shit, <laughs> you know, real Kansas, the cactus vibes. <laughs> so. I 
Alright guys, so we have decided to go with pink, yellow, and blue and some new. So she is going to go ahead and freestyle whatever it is her creative brain mm -hmm. decides to. We going to make it work. Mm -hmm. I like for artists to just do what they want. Yeah, no, this is going to be pretty. I'm just going to marble. Definitely going to marble. Get my brush ready though. That's one thing that, like, ugh. You gotta keep your brush clean. Yeah, I always gotta keep your brush clean. I'll be working on it though. Oh, this glitter is so pretty. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'd definitely make you a nice, quick little glitter, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, glitter nails be like my favorite. Oh, yeah, I used to only wear glitter. I feel like it just goes with everything. Mm hmm. Can't really go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep my leg forward. <laughs> I'm hella handicapped right now. I can't believe it. Oh, baby. How long I mean, my surgery was what, like three weeks ago. They told me I'll be better by like four to six weeks. So I'm gonna like bed rest for the rest of the weekend and um, take it from there. And hopefully, you know, I'll be good. I ain't gonna lie, it was like the biggest surgery of my life because I was supposed to have been had this surgery from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But I just never, I just never did it. How long have you been like that? Um, I've been, I was supposed to have this surgery. Like I had my first surgery 18 years ago and it was like a fucked up surgery. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to have it fixed. Um, and I never did 18 years ago. Jeez, girl. Yep. And I just been walking around with like a fracture and shit in my leg. Yeah, it was. And it just got worse and worse throughout the time. Oh my God, my brush is hella dirty. But I ain't gonna lie, now that it's done, I'm gonna be back like I never fucking left. <laughs> Straight up. But I, like, it feels like I'm gonna be able to do anything. Twerk my ass off if I fucking wanted to. <laughs> You're ready to party. I'm ready to fucking party. Is the clothes open out here? Yeah, the clothes are actually open out here. You probably enjoy it. I Booby trap. This weekend for One thing's for sure is um, the clothes out here are definitely open. That is not stopping nobody. COVID ain't stopping nobody. Yellow is pink. The pink is nice. Nice and bright. Right? Let's add these little cute butterflies and these things. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, like, I would like to have my butterflies all types of ways. <laughs> I feel like Red Bulls give you heart attacks, but that's, you know, what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be hella scared to drink Red Bull. You want to drink them? Mm-mm. I'd be living off them. That shit don't be giving you anxiety and stuff? I'm already hyperactive, so. I'd be hella scared to be drinking those energy drinks. Girl. <laughs> I don't know why. You sound like you ain't never done drugs before or something. Oh no, I do drugs. It's not those. <laughs> I, <either. laughs> I 
you do know you scared of Red Bull? I don't know. It will give you wings. <laughs> He might give me some real wings. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's because, like, um, you know, those poor locals and shit like that. Like, I be feeling it has the same type of effects. I'm not sure. I've seen some girl go crazy off of one of those poor locals in high school. Oh, my God. That's back then. Back in the day. Yeah, it's back in the day. Like, literally. Did you know Mad Dog don't stand for Mad Dog? It's like Martin Gates or some shit like that. Wow, I, I feel like that. I the other day. Why does that sound so familiar? Mad Dog 2020? A little $3 liquor we used to drink with. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Damn, that's a fucking throwback and a half. It's like 16. My shit is massive. I'm telling you, like. I don't even think ain't nothing in here besides my brush. <laughs> I'm fucking crying. This shit is huge. Nah. My sister's even bigger. She's 24. Mine's just a 14. Yeah. But that's just because of like the way, I don't know. I used to use like an 18 and a, and a 16 faithfully. But I just worked my way into smaller brushes when I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just because like the bigger brushes be ugly as hell. <laughs> like I like the cute brushes, you know. Oh, you want the little design and clear shit. Yeah, I want the clear. Oh, big and black on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I like mine to have a little design in it. You know what I'm saying? Just a little something, something. Well, I got a little. They get expensive. Brushes, the brushes are like fifty dollars now. I know. That's exactly why I be like, yeah, I'm good off that shit. Honestly, that should be dumb expensive. I just think like for me, I'm just like, I don't know. I've been in the nail world. I've been seeing the prices go from 99 cents to $99. Right. I can't believe I used to do $40 nails. Girl, and sit there. what you mean? $15 nails. For $40 for all, like $15 fill and then 15, 10 finger design and then beat it I for $35. I remember those days. $30. I really and I used to work long hours. I don't even know how. I remember when I used to do fucking manicure, pedicure. Oh my god! And those shits was like thirty. Pedicure, honey? Right, <laughs> honey, I got you. Okay, are you picala? I mean, like, I used to work in the Vietnamese shop. They used to love me because yeah, that's how you pick up your speed, though. Oh yeah, you for sure. Job, they fight over. <laughs> they be fighting. Like, like, I'm like, I'm like, y'all, y'all wanna, y'all wanna make no extra money? Like, y'all trying to go home early? Like, oh yeah. Not that wouldn't be house. trying to stay, nothing. Right. Oh, the Asian people stay, they fight. Oh. <laughs> they get their money. <laughs> they, they come back from inside and be like, I thought I was next. <laughs> Literally. You walk out next. <laughs> Those are the days. You have the sea salt massage, make you feel good. <laughs> Those are the good days. Hot towel. <laughs> Girl, I just right, lean the seat back, close your eyes, relax. I was doing Brazilian wax. I was doing the everything. whole thing. Yep. I started at 16. I just never just kept going up after that. Still learning shit. Well, that's the thing, though. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize, like, that's where the hustle is, though. Like, you have to. You have to you do know. everything. That's and why it was so hard, like, at my shop in Atlanta, because none of the girls wanted to do pedicure. I'm like, bro, you're missing out on money. Yeah. Like, you guys are like, fucking lazy. <laughs> yeah. I used to do everything. Like, scrub feet. Even at eight months pregnant, I was in there scrubbing feet, you know? I was like, and then they y'all want to charge more, they go down the street, they get it for less, you know? Yeah, but they still go down there and they go, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know. I, even for me, like I set up the pedicure stations higher, it's, so. It's so hard finding hard, you know, hard workers. Hard oh yeah, for sure. It's not easy. I, I think that's the hardest part about running a business. Help is finding the help for it. But that's the thing, like you know, sometimes it's easier just to kind of like do it on your own, you know, because you can control yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you can control your own thing. You can't make somebody come into work. You know, it's it's not the same. Cause trust me, if I could, I would make people do all types of shit, but I can't. They gotta want it for themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's why I'm giving myself a break. I'm like, you want to open a shop in Cali? No. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> not during this COVID, not during this economy, and I need a break, you know? I ain't I gonna like lie, when yeah. I'm older, I say like in my 40s or something, I can sit still and actually watch the shop. Because right now, you know, I gotta get managers, I gotta pay managers and stuff. Yep. So yeah. by the time I finish paying that, I mean, all I make is enough to pay the, the rent, the electric, you know, shoot. Pay the supplies, fine. maybe. Supplies, so it's like, it's not adding up, you know. But if I can sit in the shop full time and watch the business, then, you know, it'd be. It's different. It's worth it. Trust me, I know. That's why another reason why people ask me, like, why don't you just open up another one? I'm like, girl, I got to be at this one full time. Mm-hmm. Just to make sure, you know what I mean? And even if I'm not, you know, I, I can't be at another location. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the kid? <laughs> It's gonna be cute though. Mm-hmm. Cute already. Right? I haven't done nails in a few weeks either. I'm just like, oh yeah. like riding a bike, girl. I know. Oh shit. See, they be my nails doing that shit though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I be blaming the client. I be like, honey, you touched the fan? They be like, no, bitch, it was your ass. It was you. <laughs> I be like, oops. My long ass nails. Bye, baby. Um, can we have a later? Okay. Bye. 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 You too, babe. Bye. Yeah, these are going to be cute. How many girls have total? Um, she three now. Man, when I first opened Atlanta, it was like 17 of us and it was only like 11, 12 seats. <laughs> it was oh first come, God. first serve. Let's see what I'm doing. That was, you know, when I first bought it. I mean, that's how it, it was though. Like, even when I first opened, I, I was different. Like, I just, like right now, recently, within a few weeks, of months ago, I renovated. And I changed up like the setup. Mm-hmm. And um, my setup was like, you know, I had like this like six desks straight down. And I just had a, you know, a group full of girls just doing nails. But I just felt like with so many personalities, you know, it's hard to keep up with people when it's that much going on, you know? I ain't gonna lie, the drama between stuff, it was just like, ugh. It's always something every day, you know? Mm-hmm. Definitely never a dull moment. Never in the beauty industry. Never. And that'd be the fun part about it though, too. Like, yeah, I do my sit sitting in shop talking to my girls. Yeah. It's like, you can really never like ever have a dull moment in this business. It's always something going on. obsessed with this glitter. Mm -hmm. I might have to make some more. I'm like, ooh. How long have you been doing nails? Um, 16, I'm 30, so 14 years. Yeah. You ever thought about doing anything else other than like nails, like in the beauty industry wise? I mean, I can do hair. Do I prefer to? No, take too long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> makeup, uh, I think it's cool, but I don't know. I just don't want to be done so fast. <laughs> yeah. So I don't get technical like with all that, you know. And I feel like I need to be doing something every hour. And I feel like makeup is more like a weekend or, you know, event and stuff like that. Yeah, I always thought, I'm like, how do people get makeup done every day? Like, right. where are they going? Unless you got a contract working somewhere or something. Right. No. I should have got into my blade and they were making a lot of money off that. Yeah. I picked up a mink eyelash one time. I picked one up. Okay, I'll fuck this shit. <laughs> it takes a long time. Oh my God, it's so tedious. No, thank you. Yeah, But no. you know, I'll do the clusters. 
Uh, yep. I'd make I do the vixen lashes and that. I charge forty for that, and I can do that in ten minutes. So for and then you know when the wings were coming out, like you know, and, uh, it was so many competition. People were doing it for fifty dollars. Oh no! I'm not sitting there for an hour and a half doing that for fifty dollars. Yeah, no, fuck that. It just happened to make sense to me for me to do it. Yeah, because money, to be honest, when it comes to this, <laughs> when it comes to nails, yeah, you make is. money by the hour, <laughs> right. really. You got to think about it. Yeah. Time. But people don't think of it like that, though. You know what I mean? I don't know. Some of my girls take too long. I'm like that. You don't get paid by the hour. Right. If I did four people, you get money. But that's the thing. They don't. Oh, my God. I'm How are you going to pay? Yeah, hold on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, but yeah, that's the thing though, they don't, you know what I mean? They don't really realize either like how expensive things are when it comes to nails. Like we have so many supplies. Mm. You you need to use them to make the money, you know? Like that's why they have so many different things. I know. It's the Sarovsky, so to me, too. But did you hear, like, you know, they're not going to be selling them anymore. I heard. Why? They're going to only be using, like, big companies like, you know, Dior, Louis Vuitton, all those Are type of people. Bougie yep, they're getting hella so bougie. What we got to do? Pre preciosos? Yep, preciosos. That's exactly what I was like. What the fuck? <laughs> that just sounds hella Spanish. Precioso. Precioso. Delicioso. It means precious in Spanish. That's why I was like, okay. I guess. Preciosos diamonds. Like Whatever works. <laughs> right. I just don't want to go back to that ghetto ass fucking crystal shit. Girl, okay. it ain't not last. Oh my God. You can't backtrack on the, in the nail world. Like, I don't understand. But that's the thing though, like, Sarasi makes so much money off of us, like, in the nail industry, so I just don't be understanding, like, why they are cutting us off. You know, like, we make them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you would think, you know? The right room, we used to put, um... Top coat. <laughs> put a top coat on top. Oh my god, the stones. It was so ugly. And the fact that some people still do it now, I'm like, bro. Oh yeah, that's how you know. But that's the thing though, like to be honest with you, not everybody evolved, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's different for everybody. I be seeing some shit on the ground, I be like, what the fuck? Girl. But I be like, hey, you know, like, all right. Teaching like about how to shape is another thing, too. Oh, yeah. That, that's Some something. people got it. It's either you got it or you don't. You know? I mean, like, use your eye. Look but, at it. <laughs> it's like, does it look even? Eye, I'm like, use your eye. Your eye is important. Does it look like this? <laughs> it's like, follow it goes straight up and down, up and down. Hold the, hold the file in. Because, you know, it's the, like, a lot of old school deals still be shot on the side. Oh, yeah. Especially when they don't, you know. It's, it's just because they don't have the eye. Like, it's the eye. The it's the eye. It's the eye, honey. The eyeball. Yeah, you see? Look, look, honey. Look, honey. That's the thing. Like, I don't know. Like, does that look like what I just did? No. Right. Try it again. Keep trying. Does it match? That's, that's the thing. I ain't gonna lie. It took me some time because I, I had worked in a shop that only did manicures and pedicures. So it took me a long time to get better. Like, yeah. You know, it took me four fucking hours to do this. <laughs> That's the thing, like, I remember. Ugly, but I never, I never gave up. I kept going. And then I, I moved shop, and I moved to a shop that was more busy, that did more acrylic, and then that's when I got more experience and I got faster. It, or even when Ombre first came out, I'd be scrolling down to, like, my old pics from 2015-16, and I, that's when Ombre first came out. And people are like, wow, it's so beautiful. And I'm looking at the nails, like, what ugly. Like, damn, <laughs> it's yeah. so ugly, but it had so many comments, so many likes. That's the thing, yeah, though. Like, it's like our eyeballs evolved, too. Because yeah. we really thought it was beautiful. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's why we posted it. Thinking, like, yeah, that should look good. 
Me and my back, it's like, oh my god, this shit was so ugly. I've been wanting to delete all them damn pictures I got up there, but it's thousands of them, so I'm just like, fuck it. It is what it is now. They don't seem to it already. <laughs> no, I think it's just like, honestly, like your body. It's like makeup though. Yeah. It's just, yeah. 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 It's like old makeup. We thought this shit was good. Listen, I ain't gonna hold you. I am embarrassed My to even. So I, I didn't even have eyebrows. Mine's were all crooked because I had them tattooed. Oh, yeah, I see. I didn't I, even try to fix it. I didn't have eyebrows at all. I slipped my shit in high school. Oh. I used to slip my eyebrows. Yep. little parts? Yep. I don't know. Thought I was gangsta, I guess. Everybody had gold in their mouth, slits in their eyebrows. So I was like, yeah, me too. Mm. I just fucked up my eyebrows. My eyebrows never grew back. Like, like, they just never grew back after that. I don't know. It's like I slipped them and they just was like, yeah, we gonna stay like this since you wanna play. So ever since then, I had to get my eyebrows microbladed myself because of that. I don't feel like the microblade eat on my skin. I feel like it's the All right, bio time. It looks so pretty. So pretty. No, this this fries pretty quick, so and you like them like obviously sharp, sharp. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I be telling them. I be like it dulls out like literally like right away. That's why I make them as sharp as I could be, because the sharper I make them, the longer they last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I be telling them. So have you ever had like any like worse experiences for the client? Uh, yeah, I Girl, I'm gonna give you your money back and I'm talking to you. <laughs> really? Uh-huh, yeah. Not all money is good money. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, no, that's or, why. Or like, like, I hate when they come in and they want like all this fancy stuff but then they get like an ugly shape in short. And you can't change uh, yeah. that look. It's just ugly. It's short, you know? Yep. And I'm like, like they want you to work like, miracles yeah, and shit. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah, I know. Space to design, you know, shape. I don't even be trying to tell them, like, yeah, I don't let don't let people know I did them. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want people thinking I did them. And I'm like, yeah, no. you don't no. want to take a picture? Hell no. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> I think I, I dealt with more um, back in the day, you know, uh, schooling, walking, and stuff like that. Yeah, then appointments. Yeah, yeah. you know, I was dealing with pleasing somebody, yeah. Or some clients, like, they just stress it out. But I learned to cut that off, because it's not worth it. Like, you know when you, a, client, a hard, a difficult time come in, and, like, your mood just changed, like, oh my god, I'm about to be stressed out. Oh, yeah, that, that that's my issue. Like, I'm trying not to have a mood change. But that's the thing, like. You gotta learn how to cut them off. But that, that's will, it's Miami though. Stress you out. Are people stressed out here? The city itself is stressful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, these girls are going through their own thing. You know, a lot of the girls like they understand because they've been coming to me for years. So all my clients are like, they're pretty mm -hmm. good, you know, because they've been with me for years. They don't, they don't really give me a problem. But it be the ones that I've never had before. So I'd be like, okay, yeah, no, I can't, you know? Because they don't know how to be sometimes, or they just never been to somebody like me, so they don't know how to, you know, they be on their phone, they be messing up the nails, mm -hmm. or they be in a rush for their hair and appointments and stuff like that. And then, you know, you'd be like, wait a minute, like, I didn't make you late, you know? Like, this is just like the regular, it out. yeah. It's always like that. My favorite part is like when my clients come in and they're like, okay, so I plan the whole day out for you to do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. like, those, those be my favorite because I'd be like, okay, cool. Give me time, don't rush me. Yeah. Because I don't mind rushing. I don't know. I have days, like, most of my days when I do work, I don't need to eat, you know? Exactly. It's a long day, I'm tired. I like, do consider it, you know? 
I have like my favorite clients. Like they be bringing me food and stuff mm, like that. They feed me. They feed me. Those be my favorite ones. <laughs> they feed me. You gotta relax your hand, honey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I don't know why. It be the girls that like do stuff with cosmetology that have got the stiffest fucking hands. I'm I, yelling at my tongue and they say, relax, relax. And here I am being stiff. So they make it hurt. They make it harder. Anyway. Super, super square in the top. You like the shape so far? Cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know, I be telling my clients, I'm like, just close your eyes. Because they be watching. <laughs> The watcher. Alright, cool. Let's start drilling down. Um you can use this one. Oh. Alright, so this is where we have to relax the most. This Oh, Albany? Yeah, and it was all white women that did it first. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was so cool. Like, I never... I ain't gonna lie. I, I never... White, white women do that. Me neither. I have um, seen them do, like, the manicures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But out there in that area, like, there's a lot. Like, and the cosmetology, too. Like, they do hair, you know... But you know, like they do all that blonde stuff. Mm -hmm. Highlights. Highlights and stuff, all that. Yeah, no, but I move around a lot, that's the thing. <laughs> I have to though, cause it's the only way. No, no, try not to, the elbow, yeah. Cause I have to move your fingers around just so I don't cut you or nothing. Definitely not trying to hurt you. But for some reason, like my drilling technique, like, I gotta have like hella control. These colors are hella fucking cute too. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you got your dick grabber set for the weekend. Yes, yeah. I was like, I have to wait to get my hair and my nails done, so I'm just gonna put these pants on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you better than me. I ain't gonna come in with a set, you know. Yeah, no, because the soak off would have been like crazy. The soap process will be taking forever. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, you better than me, because I don't want to be popping off my clients now. I know, I thought you were going to pop my off. Yeah. I was like, I can't do it. I don't know why. No. I think I just get anxiety from, like, seeing the nail, like, separating from the skin. Like, I'd be seeing it. I'd be like, ooh. Yeah, no. Hold on. All right, yeah, we're still in the thing. Oh, 
Oh, it's other than that bad. I ain't gonna lie that I would I would have taken longer with my situation. Mm -hmm. I would Yeah, surprising man. My hands are easy to do. Huh? My hands are easy to do. Yeah. Some people have difficult hands. You know the one that like just runs? There's some that like you just put it on and it just like goes in perfect places. The big nail beds. <laughs> and the little nail beds be stressing me out. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, like the, the ones that don't have any nails. Oh, those little, I thought you meant like little, like small hands. No, 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 like where they bite the nails. Oh, yeah, I know. The booty, the booty mm -hmm. nubs. I, I got them booty like fingers. They look like little butts. I've been trying to tell them, like, not to bite their hands like that so they can actually get pretty nails. But I'd be having to sculpt on them. Mm -hmm. Because sculpting doesn't take me like, you know. I think it's like maybe 15 minutes longer than a full set. But I set. Lazy to stick <laughs> oh, that's the most annoying part though. And you don't have good stickers, like good forms, and they keep like moving and shit. Yeah, if that's the case, it's, it's yeah. It's pretty trash. I got pretty good ones though. I'd be having a bunch of people send me some stuff. And I be trying different ones. I'm using ones that I was gonna come out with from my own company. Ooh. Ooh. It's the rubber. Okay, yeah, try to move your, mm -hmm. your hand straight, yeah. So I'm trying to like distort your fingertip to be like hella straight. Yeah. <laughs> What days are you well, right now I'm not working at all um, until I heal up completely from this freaking super surgery. But other than that, like I work, usually work Tuesday eight through Saturday, mm -hmm. like from open to close. So I'd be here from like 10 a.m. to like eight. I'd be working hella long days, but it's only because I have so many clients, mm -hmm. like you know. I'm going to the 10-1. Yeah. I can't do that. I don't say no to nobody. You wait, I do. You wait, I do. I don't know. How do your hands not get tired, though? Girl, they do. My thumbs be bleeding. Yeah, no. Ugh. See, that's why I'd be like, oh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. I'm already needing for a break and only one person so far today. Usually, like... I'm a regular, like six, seven people, mm -hmm. you know, and I'd be good after that. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm all right. Like, I don't be wanting to take more than that, you know? My hands be hurting. People's hands be hella stiff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I took a long break. Yeah. See, that's the thing with COVID. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like it was like the biggest blessing and the biggest curse mm -hmm. ever. Like, I feel like everybody needed a, lot of a money. break. <laughs> yeah, I saved hella money. I ain't spent nothing this year. Like, I haven't done anything to spend money at all. I just been chilling, just been working, chilling, you know, doing my thing. I've gained hella weight, I ain't gonna lie with that. Really, you know, you should go to the gym, but. What are you? Are you, are you, are you no, I'm Dominican. Yeah. Yeah, I They what? Yeah? Everybody told me I like Dominican. I guess it's just the hair, too. Yeah. You don't sound like No, everybody thinks I'm just mixed. Yeah, black and white. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh, she might be Spanish and black. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, no. Like, Puerto Rican is, mm -hmm. like, eh, I don't really get that a lot, but. You got a Cuban diet, then. Yeah, a Cuban diet. There's a lot of Cubans out here. There's a lot of Dominicans out here, too. Haitians, Jamaicans. That's why we had the best food. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Like, that's one thing. I fucking can eat every single island food ever to be made. My thing is, that's why I've gained so much weight, though, too. I'm trying to move the elbow out here. Because, like, out here, when you have, like, freshly cooked food every day, you don't mind going out and eating. It's technically, you don't feel like you're eating out if it's home cooked. Right. You know? Like, these fucking women be cooking, like, every damn day fresh mm -hmm. brats, brats of food. And I'd be like, wait, right there in line. Like, yep, I'll get the first order. Okay, go wash. All right, cool. Top coat time. It's top coat time. Now we can really see. Oh yeah, this shit is fire. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's just so pretty. Yeah, they came out really cute. I'm glad you like them. Cause I didn't even know like what to do with you. I was like, damn, I don't even know what she like. <laughs> I usually like, all my clients like you know I kind of already know what they like and shit. So it'd be hella different when you're like, yeah, girl, I know what you like. What what you doing? Girly. Yeah. No, nah, but it was good though. It was pretty easy. I like encapsulating stuff too. I hate doing designs. But I will encapsulate the shit out of some stuff. Yeah, that. I'm so glad they got foil and sticker now. That's it, that's the thing. I need to do murals and painting and birds and trees and shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how some girls be like painting their dogs on their shit, on their nails. I'd be like, oh no, honey, uh, yeah. I'll send them right over to one. You had one of those, um, you know that printer? Oh, yeah, no, I, I never had one of those. Like, this is too, I'm not good with technology. I never had one of those either. That's what I'm saying. I'm not good with that technology crap. Yeah, me either. If, if I was, I'd probably be doing way more with videos mm -hmm. if I knew what the hell I was doing. Yeah, I did oh, damn. <laughs> that one fucking I video. <laughs> Okay. Not as good as fire. I'm definitely gonna have to. I mean, I'm about to do me a new set anyway. I don't know how you do the other hand. I mean, that's the thing. Like, now, if I have girls with me, I don't even have to do my other shit. I'll just make them do it. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, before I would have to always do my own nails, this shit was whack. It was so cute to be pretty, you know? Because that's how I learned. But I ain't gonna lie. I would sometimes fill my nails, shape them, everything. And I'll even like go to a place and be like, hey, can you just like file my cuticles? Like when I get a pedicure somewhere, I'll make them like file my cuticles and top coat me. I'll bring my own top coat and everything. They will always ask me too, like, who did your nails? And I'll be like, I did. <laughs> but I would tell them that after, of course, that they filed my shit, you know? This is pretty. That shit's hella pretty. Oh, okay. Let's see. I need to be a lot. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find. Oh, nice value. I know, right? Thank you. Somebody gotta see it. <laughs> I know. Somebody gotta see it. Listen, I don't even be bringing my bags out here because, you know, I'm always trying to have. 
the, yeah, the well, damage. I always go to my uh, girl shop when I like get dressed or whatever. I have somewhere to go and like you know get my makeup done for something I had to do. Now I go up to the shop and show my girls. So this one day, <laughs> I was all dressed up. I went up to the shop, wasn't nobody there. I was like, oh, God, I couldn't. <laughs> Like damn, ain't nobody gonna like, hit see my outfit. Nobody get to see me looking so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was a slow day. Shit, I be re wearing my outfit. Fuck that. They gonna see me. I'm gonna do a video of my phone so I can put it on my page. Okay. So what the hell you gonna do? I don't even have that many fucking stones in right now because they're all on the way from Sarasky. Cause you know, we had to, I have to make a huge, this is my last, you know, it's the last month that they're gonna be open, like to like sell to us. So I'm trying to make like a really big purchase and keep the shit fucking moving. Like it's kind of whack, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's kind of like disappointing to see like, you know, they not trying to have us win. One thing I hate about this shit, I'm like, damn. I haven't seen my, use my shit in forever. So my shit's probably hella fucking. I normally use the, uh, the, the bottle one. The one. I'm just trying to poke a hole. Use the drill. Oh. The pretty one. I think if I do that, it's gonna go too much. It's still recording. It's been? Oh, shit. I, I never lose. stopped it. <laughs> I close my bed. Damn. It makes me sad every single time I think about it. Pretty. <laughs> How can they take Sarasky away from us? Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, no. One thing I, I can say is that like I'm going to cry my eyes out when they don't allow us to see Sarasky anymore. I'm pretty sure somebody will make an alternative. Yeah, but look how pretty. Like, how can mm. you... Like, what's the alternative? But I see also... <laughs> do oh. they even have shapes? No, I don't think so. That's going to be hella fucking whack. Like, hella whack. Because 
because I really don't think that they do, to be honest. I'm trying to think. I cannot live without that stuff. I know. I ain't gonna lie. The spray is like the most important thing for me. start dripping and shit, like, start yeah. sliding. Let me like my favorite part about doing the nails is like the design part mm -hmm. with the crystal honey <laughs> so now when you tell somebody fuck you do it in style Oh my god, did you know about the verses that they're gonna do with Ashanti and Keisha Cole? Oh, I saw. That'd be nice. Who would you go for? I have both. I think. Okay. Keisha Cole have more hurt. You know? <laughs> Keisha Cole had more hurt songs. Ashanti, I feel like, was more, you know. Um, she got some heart songs yeah, in there. She, you know, Ray, I know all the songs. Are Ray, you don't read the whole album. Like. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, we born in the 90s, girl. That's all us. I know. I, I ain't gonna lie. They don't make music like that no more. At all. I was doing Shanti Dale was literally boom, COVID. Because I went to the Millennium Tour. And I was doing it now, and then boom, COVID. Lippy. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a blow dry and go home. Mm -hmm. Go on the blow dry and go to the room. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Sugar free. Oh, look. It's like I'm dying. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is it really To the left. Last door to the left. Ooh, yes. Yeah, so just be careful. The stones are definitely not dry. They're dry. I know that. Girl, that, that shit is dry. No, it's not. For real. It's dry. All you have to do is spray that and boom. Hey, yeah. It's dry. <laughs> All right, YouTube family. This is Nail Dot Studios right here in Fire. Florida. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram. Convince her to make a YouTube of her website <laughs> when she's home. She's going to be doing stuff. I know, right? I need to get on it. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely okay. going to start getting on YouTube. If you are in the Miami area, make sure you guys check her out. I'm about to tag her on my Instagram. If you are looking, you can make your way over there. Yes. Yeah. Miami, Florida. Yeah, 305 in the building. Period. Boom, 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 boom. Dominica. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cute. Ooh la la, y'all. Just got my nails done by Nail God right here in Miami, Florida. Make sure y'all check her out. Ling Ling got the bling bling and the Buddha fly, honey. Ooh, wow, look at you.